In this teaching tip video, you will learn about how to control the controllables so that you can effectively teach these methods in your own courses. We will cover four different aspects of controlling the controllables. Knowing what you can and cannot control, taking action to influence the things you can control, accepting what you cannot control, and recognizing that you can only truly control what you think, what you feel, and what you do. Let's get started, shall we? Number one, knowing what you can and cannot control. Mental Mental resilience comes by accepting what you can control and what is uncontrollable. For example, you can control your attitude, communication, effort, focus, preparation, and coachability. Number two, taking action to influence the things you can control. Consider the preparation you put into each block as a way to influence the things you may be able to control. You could also consider trying new strategies to learn more effectively as a way to influence the things you can control. Other opportunities could be when studying with peers and seeking help in study hall when needed. Number three, accepting what you cannot control. A bunch of new material and information is coming at you in a fast-paced learning environment. This is a good opportunity to accept what you cannot control. Another opportunity may be when new instructors rotate for each block of instruction that you share. And number four, recognizing that you can only truly control what you think, what you feel, and what you do. The demands of the course and the new learning environment that you are in may seem to increase stress, but the way you handle it and prioritize your stressors are within your control. Be sure to recognize and accept the different whenever you can so that you can reduce your own stress and focus more effectively on your performance. In this video, we covered four different aspects of how to control the controllables, knowing what you can and cannot control, taking action to influence the things you can control, accepting what you cannot control, and recognizing that you can only truly control what you think, what you feel, and what you do. Now that you know more about how to control the controllables, you should be better prepared prepared to teach these methods in your courses. Good luck!